Dean Blanchard here. Today I'm talking about a quartering away downhill shot. Let's take a look at that from behind the machine. Okay, now you've seen that target. It's going downhill and it's curling a little bit to the right. So, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to lean down with the gun. We're not just dropping the gun and putting our head down. We want to lean at the waist. For me, I can lean to the side, put a little bit more weight on my front foot, and then my back foot's got a little bit less weight on it, and then I can still pivot and do crossing shots underneath my feet. Not everybody can do that. Everybody's got a different body type. So, some people are going to want to come a little bit more square and bend at the hips forward to do it. Now, uh, with that, my recommendation is empty gun, no shell, no target, practice different positions. If I had a rabbit down here or this dropping target and, and, and try it again, try different hole spots, try how you're bending over everybody's different so the big deal is we can move the gun freely with the target and not change the point of impact we're not just dropping the gun and then trying to get our head on it and we want the same position here down here so we can have the same point of impact here's a perspective of how much i'm actually shooting down the red line is level the green line is the angle of the gun and so you can see how much I'm pointing down the hill and my shoulders and head are all in the same position as normal. You saw how, how I'm leaning over and I'm not moving the gun a whole lot. Uh, a key on cording birds anyway is you don't want to hold near the machine and have to chase down the target. You're adding a lot of speed to the gun and then going to the target, and then next thing you have to do is slow the gun down. If we start further out, the, the target can come to the gun, come out, comes to the gun, and we don't have to move a whole lot on a target like this. All I'm trying to do is shoot underneath the target, maybe left edge or straight under. So there's no lead, it's just under. So why have all that gun movement? If we use our eyes more than we use the gun, we can see the target for a long ways, finish off with just very little gun movement, place it underneath the left edge, and then shoot. If this machine was over in front of me, I'm going to look through the gun to see the target. I like to let it pass me with those shots, come up, touch it, but still not moving the gun a whole lot trying to minimize gun movement with small leads we don't want you don't want a whole lot of gun movement a whole, especially gun speed because now you're going from fast to slow instead of just comes out nice and slow pull the trigger it makes it a lot easier to hit let's take a look at some of these with the shot cam so you can see exactly where the gun is at to break the target Back from the shot cam footage, you can see the gun is not moving a whole lot with this target. I have some background so you can kind of see it a little bit better than when I'm shooting in the sky. So right there, I mean, just very little movement. We're using our eyes. We're seeing it from the machines on my right. So I'm seeing it from the right, going out, very little movement. And you can see how much under I was to break this target. So if you're having problems with downhill shots and you find yourself shooting at the targets, Chances are you're shooting over the bird. Well, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Like and share my videos so we can help other people. Have a great day.